Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. In the past videos we have created our WireGuard server in our Raspberry Pi. We have added a Windows client. In this video we're going to add an Android client. So we're already here in the WireGuard folder. Um, and you can see we have some private keys. We have the server public key and we have the server running. So if we do, we can see that the server is running and there is one peer. We're going to copy the uh, server public key. We're going to need it later. And let's let's get going. So first, we're going to generate the keys on the computer. So we're going to generate all the keys and everything on the server. And we're going to use a QR code to actually put it on the phone so we don't have to actually be transferring a lot of information. We just point the camera and get it done. So first, we're going to create the keys and uh, now we're going to cut the keys and we're going to copy and paste them uh, somewhere safe so we can use them so we're going to do cat phone public we're going to copy this key and we're going to put it somewhere where we're going to use it later we're going to do the same for the private key. And now we're going to create the configuration for our Android client. So in here, we're just going to call it uh, Android 2. And we're going to use Nano to create the configuration. And I'm actually going to create it here in VS Code. Um, and then we're just going to copy and paste it. So as here you can see I have a template. So basically you're going to need um, the private key. So this is a mobile private key that we saved earlier. The peer IP, so this is the IP that you're kind of like assigning to to this device. DNS, that's the DNS that you want to use. Uh, here it's set up for using one of our internal DNSs. You could set Cloudflare or whatever. In here you're going to put the server pub public key which we we got earlier from when we did the wget and then we have the server ip which is basically that one you have to get on your own um, and the server port so that's the port that you set up uh, when you were setting up the ip and then this one is for split tunneling and here we're sending everything through the VPN, so we're doing 000. And in here I already kind of cheated. I already have some, so I have the uh, public key of the server, I have the IP of the server and the port that I use, allowed IPs, DNS, the address that I want to give my client. So the only thing I'm missing is a uh, phone private key. So we're going to copy this, we're going to paste this, and we're going to copy it into the server. Uh, so now we see this is the information that we just created. So now we have to add that. So now we have to add this to the server. So let's open the, conf the server configuration. So here we can see we already have a peer that we have created before. So we're going to go back here and we're going to put in here we need to put the public key that we copied earlier. And I already changed the IP to match the IP that we put to the peer. So we go here. Copy, we save, and now we are going to restart the server. And as you can see here, now there's two peers that we can use. So now we have to create the QR code for our Android phone to be able to get the configuration. So if you haven't installed it before, you, you would have to do this command. To, to install the QR encode. I already installed it. So I'm just going to run this command. 
so current code and then the config file for Android. So what this is going to create is a QR code that I can use. So now let me connect to my phone and we'll show how this works. So now you can see I have my phone mirrored in the computer uh, and we're going to open the application of WireGuard that we just installed. We're going to add a tunnel. We're going to scan the QR code. And we're going to name the tunnel. We're going to create it. So now we can start it. And as you saw, it disconnected as soon as I started because it went into the VPN. So we reconnected again. And now we can see that the device is connected with WireGuard. Now if we go to the internet, we'll be protected by a VPN. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.